What's good, ladies and gents? Welcome to the MKO Pugilism Boxing Channel, where we talk all things boxing. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, hit the bell notification, put it on all. You can get notified of all our latest activity, all our latest blogs, as and when they happen. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, had a very good one of i think this was this was my fight of the night this was my favorite bout of the whole evening and that was uh florian marku uh versus rylan charlton and for me this was very entertaining um this had all the ingredients and for me i think um i enjoyed it most i enjoyed it i'd say this was like the sort of the fight of the night for me and um good fight it was explosive from the very beginning uh, you could tell that Rylan Charlton, you just wanted to get straight down to business. So as Marku sort of boxed on the back foot and boxed within himself, but, you know, he was he was on the back, moving back, hands down a little bit, doing a bit of fancy stuff. He was talking to Charlton a little bit. Guys were conversating a bit in the ring and you could tell Charlton just brought the pressure. And um, yeah, as it progressed, uh, both guys pretty aggressive. Um, Marku landing some decent counter shots and um, Charlton just steaming forward no matter what. Um, Charlton did suffer a knockdown first. He was it. There was a few knockdowns in his fight, but Charlton is the one who suffered the first one at the hands of Marku. Gave him solid and it was a good solid knockdown, um, but. The brilliant thing was Charlton just gets up and um, he just acts like a fighter. He did it, just got straight back to business. He got knocked down, straight back to business, straight in there, two-fisted attack, trying to stick it on um, Marku. Marku still having the better of the action. And um, yeah, it kept progressing, progressing like this where uh, Marku on the back foot, Charlton mainly on, on, on the front foot. Um, Charlton did take some punishment here and there, but uh, Marku goaded him on, goaded him on. And I think it was the round, I think it was around the sixth round or something like that, where um, Charlton, his hard work paid off, his persistence paid off. Clap um, Marku nicely, good shot. And um, Marku then goes down. So now it's one each and it looked, it's a funny one because it looked prior to that with um, Marku scoring the knockdown, he, he was like winning the rounds going ahead. And then the fight kind of flipped a little bit and uh, Charlton was then in the ascendancy, scores that nice knockdown, coming forward, coming forward, coming forward. And I think the only thing, um, the only thing, one of the things I would say is that in this fight, um, what kind of hurt, Charlton for me was was the um sort of lack of defense it was it was only thinking forward you know keep going forward 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 and it, I think with Marku Marku was a bit of both you know he was on the back foot a bit but he was he was the he was the sort of thinking fighter in there where he's he wasn't just it didn't look like he's just gonna try and steam and just knock him out but um Charlton was just sort of steaming in there and you could tell he was thinking this strategy of the best defense is the good offense. So he was, he he was just coming forward no matter what. And um, in the end, it, it kind of cost him there because um, you know, man like um, Marku just managed to catch him nicely in in round eight. And I believe I think it was a yeah the towel the towel was waved or the towel came in because. Um, Charlton was just sort of all over the place. It was no position to continue and it all ended in, in the eighth. And throughout this fight, it was ebbs and flows back and forth. Um, but ultimately, the man with the sort of better defence, the man that was better going backwards is the man who won the fight because both of them beforehand were talking about breaking each other up, knocking each other out and things like that. But in the end, the guy with the better defence is, was Marku and he's the guy that won because he was focused on a bit of both defense and attack defense and attack and he had a bit of every he was the more well-rounded guy whereas hold on 
So I just on, interrupted by my little one here. But yeah, so in the end, with that fight, for me, the Marku versus Charlton fight, it was a more defensively responsible man that won the fight. And I think that was one of the big differences. I think had um, Charlton been a little bit more defensively aware and acute and um, sort of been focused on the defence, he would have stood a much better chance because he definitely had the mm -hmm. pop. He definitely had the power to to do damage against Marku. But the problem was he was kind of, you know, walking onto certain shots and only thinking about the attack. Whereas Marku was a bit of both. And I think that that if he could polish off that um, those rough edges and think a bit more about the... Um, being a bit more responsible, maybe a bit of head movement, that side to side head movement would have would have definitely helped him to do a lot better in this fight and possibly even win this fight. But at the end of the day, on the night, the better man won and that man was Florian Marku. So let me know your thoughts below in the comment section. And until next time, this is MKO Pugilism over and out. Bye bye. So subscribe to MKO. Subscribe to NKO. Absolutely. So see you next time. See you next time. See you next time.